Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. Now today, you'll see we're not in FIFA. And this doesn't mean that FIFA's going to end. All it means is that this is something that we can do alongside FIFA for when FIFA might not be the top of my priority. So we're going to be playing F1. Um, we're going to be doing a career mode. Now, this F1 game... Um, isn't with the new liveries and stuff, so just bear that in mind. It is in last year's cars. Um, we got some contract perks here. Proposed contract value, my value. They're giving us a lot of expectations here. I'm going with McLaren just because McLaren are probably my favourite team in the sport. Teammate, I would like to have my teammate as Lando Norris. Sorry, Carlos Science, but you've been kicked Excellent out. Choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. If you didn't know, basically at the start of the F1 career mode, you have um, what's called the... Or below the Formula 1, you have Formula 2. You go through the Formula 2 on this, you have like three different scenarios. I won the championship with them, so that's good. Um, just take a look at the difficulty. Yeah, my hand on 85% difficulty. Qualifying one shot, I'm not too, like, crash shot on that. I think I'll do the, the full 18, 15, and 12 minute uh, weekend structure for that. Practice length, short, 30, 30, 30 is fine with me and we have our car now i am going to be looking at setups online for the car i'm sure there will be i think there's a website where you can have a look at them so that'll be fine all right then here we go so session or season one melbourne grand prix circuit um our obviously teammate is uh, lando norris uh, our contract our value is just up to our contract value, which is very good. With second driver, team goal, which is hard, is qualify sixth or better. Race three comes and reigning two to do that. And with the four, fifth fastest car on the grid right now behind Haas, although we will be able to change that. If we're looking at what needs doing, our, our engine is very, very bad. So our power is not great. Our chassis is up there, so... We're looking at being best of the rest so far, and then our aero is up there as well. So I guess it's our powertrain which needs to be developed first. So if we go and develop that, and then maybe if we look at some general maintenance as well, we can definitely put that on there. And then if we get the, uh, if we get that as well, just so that doesn't fail. That should be good. That's looking at recommended upgrade. Not really what we want to do. Once we get that upgrade, we should be very, very close with Haas. Of course, the the difficulty I will tinker with uh, as we need to. Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favourable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate. Uh, okay, you whatever. Your the harder the rival from the eligible selection the more respect you stand to gain or lose, depending on the result. Rivals, there we go. Mr. Lando Norris is our rival. And we have some messages here. Da, 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 da. Looks like it's going to be a dry weekend here in Melbourne, which is always very good. So if we go to then advance, practice one, I will see you on the track. We'll do the first thing for testing. Or not testing, um, practice, but then I'll probably just do the rest on my own accord. And then we'll be back for quality. Direct me to the fly, and tear me up some bar. I've been getting on, 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 on. You make me wanna, oh, 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 oh. You make me wanna, oh, 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 oh. We're just about ready to kick off today's qualifying here in Melbourne. It's the Australian Grand Prix. It always looked like the kind of track that asks an awful lot of the rear tyres, such as the frequency of low speed exits. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, 
they can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tyres. Here we have a lot of low speed corner exits, which means a whole load of energy, heat and tyre wear. Here we are then, into our first session of the day. We're going to have a good luck Dorito. Ah. Mm. All right. So, um, if we go here, now we have to let the the track evolve a bit. So I'm not going to set my time just yet. I'm going to wait until the very last minute to go out and set my time. If we get through, we get through. If we don't, we don't. You know what? We're going to wait until everyone's sort of coming back. We're going to wait until the five minute mark. And now we're going to go. Park firm eight, flying lap. Let's put this lap on the table. Probably going to be very silent for the most of the driving itself. Um, in future, I might do the video sort of post com. I'm not too sure. But let's just get this lap going. Here we go then. Q1. Three minutes left on the clock. We've got cars out the pits trying to get in our way. That wasn't the best line. That was not the best line. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Around the S section here, Melbourne. Hard on the brakes, not too hard, because we can sort of float the car into that. Not the best line, but it's a very good exit, a nice speedy exit is all I ask for. That's a nice one. DRS on. Open up the flap. Nice. Nice. Hard on the brakes. Get it around this corner. Get on the power at the end. And we get ourselves into what would be only 18th position. Oh my word, that's not very good. Is it any quicker than the last lap? I don't think it is by much. And it's P18 we stay. We're going to be starting this race down in P18. Wow, that is tragic. I don't know what's gone wrong there. The last lap we did was good. Maybe it was a mistake from us only going out once. I don't know. But. 
That is not a very good result at all. We're pretty much plum lost. We were only, what, three temps away from getting out the top four, getting out the top zone. I mean, look, there was only five tenths between 10th and 18th, so... It's not a disaster. We can start on a choice attire that's going to suit us, which is good. Tough luck there. It's not quite where we'd want to be on the grid, but chin up, it's not the end of the world. New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now that plays host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. We have plenty of changes to the sport this year with tweaks to the regulations, a fresh looking spread of tyre compounds and of course some changes to the roster of car manufacturers. It's goodbye to Salva and hello once again to the classic name of Alfa Romeo in Formula One. It's also goodbye to Force India. They've been rebranded as Racing Point. Joining me to take you through all the action of the 2019 Formula One season is Anthony Davidson. And it's great to have you with us. Thanks, Crofty. Always happy to be here and I'm looking forward to getting underway. Last year was Mercedes' fifth constructors title in a row, although for the first half of the season it was absolutely neck and neck with the Ferraris. Hopefully this year we can see the chasing pack take that final step, as I'd love to see a championship contest all the way up to the final race in Abu Dhabi. Another story to keep an eye on is the performance of Red Bull, who have switched to the Honda Power Unit this year. What that will mean for both their performance and reliability remains to be seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Albon, Valtteri Bottas and Leclerc. Weber, Perez, Butler and Kimi Raikkonen. Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Lando Norris and Grosjean. Fiat, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi and Joker. Russell and Robert Kavica takes the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into Here we go then. So this is the strategy we're on. If we hit them, good luck. The soft tyres in the mediums. I like that, right? Let's just get on with the race. Keep it about 11,000 RPM. It's a somewhat good start. Keep an eye out for the breaking point. We maintain our position. We just really want to try and see this bit out safely. That's a decent start. Good job. 
Good starts, good starts. Look at us all snaking round each other. Gasly having a go at Kofia. We could be getting both of these Tarossos here. I'm going to take you up the inside, up on one of them. Couldn't quite get the job done. Renault Power versus the Honda Power. Gasly is looking very, very good. Oh, 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 slam on the brakes. Holy crap, avoiding action. I do want to try and get some space here, some clean air. We're looking at the pass again on Gasly. We're up into the rich revs now to see if we can squeeze our way by. I would like some somewhat clean air. Right, we're going to have a gone Gasly here then. Oh! We tried to squeeze him out of the road. Oh, he comes back at us. He nearly had us off the road there. But we make the mark pass stick. That's the most important thing. But Gasly is coming back at us, so we're going to hold the racing line. Gasly is going to have the DRS here, so we do need to watch out. I'm going to hold the inside line. Here we go then. Can we have a go on Roman Grosjean? Oh, he left it very late there. But I'm through. That's all that matters. And we should have some DRS here on Danny Kafia. But we're not going to overtake him just yet. But we're definitely still in this race. Oh! My God, we sent that big time. I was playing around with the fuel. Holy crap, let's just take a look at the instant replay here. Ow! Look at this for a dive bomb. I was playing around with the mixer and oh my goodness me! Uh, he was... He left the door open, which is why I went in there. But... That was so, so risky. Here we go then guys, we are closing up to Norris and Raikkonen here then. Of course, we don't want to take our own teammate out. That'd be very, very, very unsporting. But I think we might be able to get him down the straight. However, that is... Oh, no. We've lost our opportunity now. I mean, we get DRS. But in that dirty air, we're just gone. Didn't see our braking zone. And we were left for good. Oh, now we've damaged our front wing. No! The car skidded along the grass and we've hit our front wing. Which, of course, is not great. Means we're going to be tainted now for the rest of this race, most likely. Oh, we are well and truly screwed this now. Grip on the tyres absolutely fell off really, really quickly. Oh, dearie me. They got a new nose cone for me as well. Oh, Christ, that's not great, is it? 
So we're ahead of Giovanazzi, who we started just behind, but all the other progress we've made. We come back out. Just ahead of Roman Grosjean. So, going to be tricky. Grosjean looking to come up the outside. And he makes it stick. He pretty much barges me off the road. This has not been a great race for us at Albert Park. I'm going to be honest. It hasn't been great. We should be able to pick off Grosjean though. I'm going to go down the inside. No, I'm not. Right then, here we go. This is how we get the DRS. Roman Grosjean, we're wheeling him in, wheeling him in. He's going to the inside. We're going to go outside here. And he will have to yield and we make the pass stick. But look how far Lando Norris is up the road. Right then, here we are then. We should be on this overtake against Danny Kvyat now. We're reeling him in. Down the inside. And it's a lovely pass. It's a lovely, typical send it pass. Our next target being the Force India. We might be able to catch up to Lucas Weber here. He is 12th place. We have gained 1.2 seconds on him in the last lap alone. With what, three laps left remaining? Last lap then, here we go. Tuning in live for the last lap of the Australian Grand Prix. Can we catch our old teammate back in Formula 2, Lucas Weber? He is about 1.2 seconds ahead last time I checked. We're going to have to have a hell of a line and try and gash some time out from him to try and get this back. We don't. We're just short. If we hadn't had that nose cone change, we would have been right up there Blando Norris and stuff. But it was that little clip on the wall that absolutely killed us. Ah, that's annoying. But it's a P, what, 12 or 13? Mercedes win the race. No points for the McLaren boys yet. Oh, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Hamilton there on the stay on the podium with Leclerc and Max Verstappen in third. After an incredible performance, we get Hamilton secures the top spot in the drivers' champ. I mean, we were up what? We gained three positions on the grid, which is good, right? I mean, Sebastian Vettel didn't finish. They were a long way, but we had a massive gap here. You know, if we had well, the pit stop was like an extra what three seconds on our pit stop time. I can't wait to see what's next. So that would be one takes to 34 seconds, no 30 seconds. So we theoretically would have been around here, the P7 P mark, which would be where we targeted, but we failed. So we're going to have to advance into the next week. Uh, our power advantage, probably our aero package, there wasn't much was good. He had a great car and a great team behind him, but so do I. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip, or did you just misjudge some car? We need to get some more downforce. Right. Downforce is a big thing, of course. But the race, I don't think, went too bad. I think it was just the quality that was bad. And this really hurts my hands. But anyway, I don't know whether or not we're going to continue this series. Um, it was just something that I thought I would put up. If the reception is good for it, then I will do an episode two. If it isn't so good, then it's no biggie because I can just continue this in my own time. Now, I don't know when you'll be seeing this. It'll be coming up at whatever point. Um, 
we did get the fastest lap over Lando Norris. Um, we get some resource points. Mercedes has gone down in our reputation, which is not the best. But we we go up with that. You're not the only. And I think what we'll do to end off the episode is I'm going to develop the chassis weight reduction as well. So that should get us theoretically right up there with that. But as I said, guys, that is where I am going to end this one. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll be back with FIFA as soon as you know it. Catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.